If you're into tweaking your graphics card, MSI Afterburner is probably your go-to tool. But sometimes the core voltage option is grayed out and you're left scratching your head. Don't worry, this isn't a glitch. It just means the option is locked by default. To change it, you need to flip a few switches in the settings. It takes less than a minute. Trust me, I've done it many times. Whether you want to push your GPU a little further or just explore more settings, unlocking core voltage gives you more control. Let me walk you through it step by step. When you first open MSI Afterburner, the core voltage slider might be grayed out. That means you can't adjust it yet. It's like having a sports car, but not being allowed to push the pedal fully. Let's fix that. You'll see a gear icon near the middle of the Afterburner interface. Click it. This opens the main settings window. In the settings window, look for a checkbox that says Unlock Voltage Control. It's easy to miss, so take your time. Once you find it, click the box to turn it on. This tells the program you're okay with adjusting voltage settings manually. After ticking the box, don't forget to click Apply at the bottom. This saves your changes. You're not done yet. Close and reopen MSI Afterburner. When it comes back up, you'll notice that the core voltage slider is now active. You can move it just like the other settings. Unlocking core voltage gives you more power over your GPU settings. This can help when you're overclocking or fine tuning for specific games. But be smart. More voltage means more heat and higher power use. Don't go crazy with it. I always start small and test as I go. A few extra millivolts can make a difference, but too much can cook your card. This whole process takes maybe a minute or two. It's quick, easy, and opens up more options in Afterburner. If you want full control of your GPU, this step is a must. Just remember to keep an eye on temps and stability. You're unlocking more than a setting. You're unlocking more power, literally. So I hope you found this simple tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions, use the comment section and I will do my best to reply to you.